Hey guys, we're gonna be working a quick five minute weights workout. So get out your weights and let's get ready to go. Let's get started. We're gonna start with a simple bicep curl, set up the body, pelvis neutral, legs rotated, ribs stay down, arms forward, shoulders down, elbows anchored in. Exhale, curl up like you're lifting the heaviest weight ever. Exhale when you curl and inhale, knuckle scrape down the chalkboard. So we're just gonna keep on curling, lift and lower. Now I'm using a three pound weight. If you feel the need to switch it up or switch it out within the movements that we do, this is a five minute workout, feel free to do that. But I'm trying to make a muscle and I'm really paying attention of bringing the weight to me. I'm not coming to the weight. So my glutes contract, my core contracts, my arms contract, and my upper body contracts. It's almost like a zigzag line of contraction up my body. We got about 10 counts left, don't over squeeze the weight. Exhale, pelvic floor simultaneously, let's double down. Five more counts, last curl. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a rotator raise. So inhale up to shoulder height, turn the fingers up, down and down. Inhale up, now anchor the shoulder blade up, down and down. Now every time I lift, I'm not pushing the ribs out, okay? Otherwise it's not a true rotator cuff movement. So this is about strengthening the shoulders, toning the shoulders. If you want nice sculpted upper arms, this is gonna be the move for you. I'm working with a three pound weight. You by all means can work with a five or an eight, but we wanna make sure it's manageable the entire way through. Ask yourself, how steady is my rib cage? So I shouldn't be like a wobbly top as I work through this movement. <coughs> Excuse me, every time the fingers turn up, that shoulder blade area drops down, keep it anchored down, up, up, down, and down. We can get one more set in here, up and up, down and down. Let's work that same rotator cuff move again. Inhale up, up, press up, down, down, all the way down. Inhale up, up, press up, down, down, all the way down. The entire time, my pelvic floor is nice and strong, okay? My rib cage, my torso is not manipulating to try to get the weight up overhead. So if you have a sticky shoulder, you might wanna do a little stretching, but otherwise this is a perfect example of how the body kind of works around those areas that are weak or tight or sore. And if you have a weaker shoulder, like I really noticed I did, when I started doing rotator cuff work, this is gonna be an awesome way to jumpstart your body. To stay consistent, this is all about breathing, paying attention to your body, and staying consistent. You don't need the heaviest weight, you just need control over the weight. You got it, last one, bring it down, down, and down. All right, feet turn out, toes turn out, into a high squat pelvic neutral tricep side kick. Inhale up and down. Inhale up, it's like you're up against a wall. Someone's pushing you back and really kick up with the pinky finger. So watch my wrist. I actually turn out with my wrist to get that little bit of extra upper back work. Now push into the balls of the feet even more and slightly try to lift your heels. Upper back squeezes together. No hunching, no rounding. Now is the time to really try to have the best posture that you possibly can have. So as I come up to that full height, I'm squeezing my triceps. Kind of a weird thing to think about. Inhale up and down. If I can talk and breathe and do this, I know you can stay with me. I don't care if you're using one pound hand weights. I don't care if you're holding a dollar in your hand. And last one. Nice job, bring it up, here we go. All right, arms come out in front. Bend the knees, sit back into your chair pose, belly in, glutes contract. You see what I did there? Interlace your fingers, full overhead raise. Inhale up, exhale down slow. Plug your shoulders back, inhale up without pushing the ribs out. Exhale down slow. Inhale, swing the hammer up. Exhale, sit back into your hips and heels. Go as high as you can. My breath lifts with the movement. Resist gravity on that downswing. So we're getting a little bit of lower body work here as well, which never hurt anybody, right?
Stay with me, about eight seconds. And up, nice job. Okay, here we go, bend the knees, feet are about hips distance. Little bend in the knees, hitch the hip the hinge back, hip the hinge back, hinge the hips back, ribs up, but booty sits back, contract the glutes, deltoid or rear deltoid fly. Inhale up, squeeze, and down. Inhale up, up, and down. And every time you go up, up some more, I'm gonna keep my rib cage from splaying. Up, up some more, and down. Sit back into your glutes, but engage your glutes. Pick up the lower belly. Your core is the base for the arms. Up, up again. That up again is usually that little bit of extra movement, that little bit further we can go, and we usually don't. Keep the chin tucked in. 10 counts. Up, up some more. No, my, no more kyphosis. No more rounded shoulders. Up, up. And drop it down, forward bend, shake out the head, bend your knees, roll it up slow. Let's roll the shoulders three, roll the shoulders two, roll the shoulders one, turn right, turn left, turn your head right, turn your head left, open your mouth, drop your head back and push your chin to the sky. 